Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to cover another application in the next GS. And with this application we are going to explore each and every aspect of uh, next GS. So in this video we are going to build a simple uh, movie uh, IMDb clone application which is going to fetch the lots of data about a particular movie of a different type like top rated movies, incoming movies and popular movies and we are going to visualize them nicely on the UI. So we are not going to write our own APIs, we are just going to use existing IMDB APIs and we are going to fetch those results and show them on the UI. So let's get started. How we are going to do it? Uh, this is our simple setup. We have all these applications and we are going to build a new application. So hi, how we will do it? I will just create and uh, create next application. We we'll just select all the options like what all I need. I am just creating a movies application. So we will just put a nice name IMDb uh, Movies 2023. And here it will ask you do you want to use TypeScript? Do you want to enable ESLint? Do you want to use Tailwind CSS? Do you want to use source directory and app directory? So this question is important because you might have seen the different Next.js projects using a different folder structure. Why that is happening? Because there are options. The, these are the two combinations. Do you want to use source directory? If you say no, all the apps and pages will be on the root of your project. If you want to use the source directory, then SRC folder will be created in the root and then all the other application, all the folders will be inside that. So now if you want to use app directory, then it will create a source app. Now inside a source app directory, you will have a APIs and the pages, right? Like here you can see we have a Tailwind config, we have a post CSS and we have a next config and inside source app, we have page.tsx, which is going to be the landing page currently because this is how the routing works. This is the app based uh, routing in the next JS. We'll just make a uh, simple and this is our layout. So this is the root layout and the root page.tsx. So when you run the application, it is going to use this page.tsx and the layout.tsx. Okay. And this is the next config, tailwind config, uh, ts config. We don't need all these theme options. So I will just get rid of this. And uh, we have this uh, source package JSON. You can see the dependencies. Here we have a React, React DOM, Next, Tailwind, TypeScript, uh, and uh, Auto Prefecture, Post CSS, React, React DOM. Right. Basic dependencies now we are going to create all the other routes like api if you want to have the next js api routes this is how you will do it inside api you will create another folder like api hello so hello can be another folder inside that you will create a route.ts okay so in this video in this uh, playlist uh, in this video we are going to talk about the imdb kind of api where we are going to fetch lots of data and then we then just pass the data to the child components. So what, how we will do it? We already know how to make an API call, how to fetch the data in the server side components. Okay. So we will talk about all those things like how we are creating it. So we have these two different folders, like two different path, movie and the movies. So they will become the, 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 the server side path that can render the content, right? So this is the app movies and movies these are the two different path and we will just put the names so this is the hello world root and this is the root layout and here we have a global css where i'm importing the tailwind css all the tailwind configurations this is the movie and movies.tsx now if you try to see the landing page you will you are getting hello world now if you look into the documentation how the layout really works inside source we have app we have the pages and inside pages you can have a page.tsx loading.tsx error.tsx and this is how you will fetch the data and all so it's all next yes i'm not going to spend much time here in explaining okay how the next yes works we are going to use all the the library which provides by the next yes like next link next image next router all the concepts and we are also going to use uh, the next link because that is used for the navigation. Okay, 
so that is app directory which is the beta feature and we are using that so in source folder you can see we have app and inside app directory we have all the 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 path based routing folder based routing and we have the api folder so if you want to have an api then you can create it there so this is our root file i mean when you hit a forward slash it is going to render the page.tsx which is there inside a source app folder here you can make an api call because this is a server side component so like like i can just write async function get movies and you just define some type string okay give me popular movies give me top rated movies all these things i can do now let's try to understand the, this path based routing clearly so how our structure looks like we have a source folder inside that we have an app folder and inside that we have we can have apis we can create uh, this folder based routing and all if you look into the high level picture this is how the routing works and this is uh, we are using this app directory so inside app whatever you are doing page.tsx that will become the root page then you can if you want to implement apis you will put inside app you will create an api folder then you will put a path like api auth then auth will become folder api hello hello will become folder and then route.tss there you will define the get put post handlers currently what i want is i want a landing page i want a page for movies i want a page for getting a particular movie right so we will we will uh, extend this example like maybe we still need to create couple of more folders inside a movie directory so how it works is when you hit a movies in the forward slash movies it will render the page.tsx from the movies when you hit forward slash movie it will access the page.tsx from the movie folder so this is how currently it's working this is the the, the directory based structure and uh, we can create uh, the apis we can create uh, components and all those things are happening like this so this is our root page this is will be rendered when you hit forward slash movies and when this will be rendered when you hit a forward slash movie page so this is the combination right and this is how the routing works so if you want to hit something else like okay movie and uh, forward slash there is a layout these are the different files which you will have so you can have a custom layouts for a particular route like movies okay i want to have a different layout than the root layout i can create a layout file i can have a separate error handler this is the error boundary page we which we will be creating we can have a loading component for each and every uh, route so there are two routes right now root movies and movie and each and every folder we can put this layout.tsx error.tsx loading.tsx these are the main components layout will define the layout if you have some custom layout for movies and movie error this is the error boundary page will be used when there is an error in loading because we are doing lots of asynchronous thing we are going to fetch the api data so we can show some loading message or nice loader on the ui so you can use a loading.tsx in that particular case so this is pretty much uh, the the folder structure looks like you can have a custom layout for each and every folder you can put a error boundary error.tsx error.tsx is the client only component and rest you can build all these things and here we can uh, create a server components these are the server components we are going to create and server components are capable by just even calling a method so they, they are like async functions you can do async await and you can make another function okay async fetch async function async async function get movies and you write a xeos call and you do await get movies in your components that is the that is the power of uh, server components that you can just earlier we used to do get server side uh, data get static props and all the custom methods now those are not there you can just write a simple async functions and await that uh, call in your server component so let's come back to that so here this is how we are doing it uh, this is how we can create a simple api api hello.ts and inside that uh, in, this is a hello is a folder api hello is the folder inside that you will create a route.ts and inside that you are going to write the handler api hello and then you will create a route.ts 
that is actually going to handle all your request so here you need to define do you want a get handler put handler post handler patch handler all these functions are there okay coming to our root component so this is the root component movies and if i want to fetch the movies what i will do i will simply await get movies in the server components these all are server side components all the root component page.tsx the movies movie all these will be a server components there are lots of advantages i mean server components data fetching in server component is just plain and easy you just to write a simple async functions and do the await once you receive the data then they, that data you can actually pass to the client only component because sometimes you want to manage the state uh, you wanted to store the state you wanted to use the redux you wanted to use the basic react hooks because state management and all are all can happen only in the client side components server components the only objective of server components is fetch the data and send the data to the client so this is how you can create all the different uh, pages let's say you wanted to create a, a, a particular route let's say movie and movies so what we did here we put error.tsx uh, loading.tsx and the page.tsx so these files are really important if you want to have a, some kind of a loading state, some kind of error boundary to be placed in, in these folders. So this is like a simple uh, client component and this is how we do error handling. Why that is required? Let's say you are writing your application and there is something wrong happened in this particular page then this error boundary page will be able to show you the error message and in each and every folder you can have your own layout, you can have your own um, error.tsx and the layout. So I'm just trying to play around with this to just showcase you that how this really works and this how this page based uh, uh, path routing really works. So we have movie and uh, movies and here we are creating uh, also the loading.tsx uh, that will be able to show you simple loading animation. Let's say you are doing uh, some, some asynchronous stuff and you wanted to show some loading message on the screen that okay because it's SSR before even publishing the data you are making API call. So your browser will be loading but at least you can show okay the things are getting loaded it will be available so we can show some kind of a loading message right so we have a loading layout error and the page.tsx this is a typical structure of our application and here when i reload i think there is some error so this is the root page which is coming from the page.tsx and then the default export is not a react component promise.all so there is something wrong let's try to uh, troubleshoot it so here is this is our page.tsx and this is our loading.tsx error.tsx and uh, all these different different components so layout so i think uh, we are not putting anything inside the layout that is creating problem if we have a layout then just keep it otherwise just remove the layout from the folders so here you can see we are putting body so if you want to have a custom layout that's fine otherwise if you have put uh, the layout.tsx then obviously you need to render the children inside that jsx currently we are not using any custom layouts but here this is just about demo let's say i put a two different layouts for movie and movies i have a separate separate layout so i just put the layout.tsx inside them and then i will just try to see if uh, this works and here we will just replace the layout with this so it's all about uh, it's do, doing nothing much it's like you can see movie this is the movie and hello movies this is the movies currently we are not making any async calls so we don't see the loading but this is how this server component works so movie and movies dot uh, movie and movies both folder, folder contains page.tsx right so page.tsx is a server component and you can use server components for the data fetching and all just by using simple async call and once you have the data you can pass the data to the client components because client only component can only do the state management where you can use hooks all those concepts applies only to the client side components because state management is a client side stuff it's not a server side stuff so all the things the hooks and all you can use only in the client only components and this is how we work with the complex applications you do the server components and server components will render the the client only child components and pass the data and server components can make a 
direct uh, interactions with the prisma ORM by just calling the prisma dot model dot fetch many unique find many it can make a xeos call to the external api it can make an api call to the next js uh, routes so uh, i mean you don't interact with the next js api routes next js api routes are designed to be consumed by the client only components you can also access third party apis using xeos call that's what we are going to do we are going to make a movie db clone because we are not building an infrastructure for managing the movies data we are going to consume the existing apis provided by the open source so there is a movie db uh, where you can pass the api key and can access all the movies all the credits all the recommendations all the the title tracks and all like the complete movie picture whatever the imdb shows the data all these information we can consume okay so we have two different routes movies which will show all the movies and movie which will show a particular movie movie by id so here we will have a folder underscore for uh, id because this id is actually a path parameter and inside that we can have the same you can have a page.tsx loading.tsx layout.tsx error.tsx all these files can be there in a folder because this is a folder and here i'm putting just only page.tsx and i do have other folders inside this because when i try to get the particular movie detail i can try to get the information about the cast about the, the role play about the script about the ratings so i'm creating these different different folders cast will have its own page.tsx so we are creating actually a deep down nested route hierarchy folder based hierarchy so movie by id then i can get the cast i can get the recommendations and all so we can just need only uh, page.tsx because all the other files i was just i have created only for demo so it's to show you okay how this loading layout and error.tsx works inside movie also we are going to create a uh, different routes forward slash movie forward slash popular forward slash movie forward slash top rated movies movies top rated recommended uh, all these uh, upcoming movies so there will be three different routes inside this movies folder so let's say i wanted to see the top rated so movies forward slash top rated it will give you the top rated movies movies forward slash popular it will give you the popular movies okay now uh, what i will do is i will create the other folders upcoming so we have these three different routes inside that inside these folders we also need to have page.tsx right that is a server component which we need to put uh okay we just uh, delete the layouts and all i mean we are just deleting the necessary stuff which we don't need so here we just need only page.tsx so we'll just try to copy the page.tsx template and we'll just copy the page.tsx everywhere okay so here you can see we have a movies id and the movies folder which contains these three different routes i just copy and pasted the page.tsx template okay and then we already know what is the now how the folder folder structure looks like so this is what we are going to build so this is upcoming movies a grid horizontal grid popular movies top rated movies and when you click on to the see all it will take you to this particular route movies upcoming so this is a separate route that was the landing page now if you go to the movies and then top rated popular movies that will be a separate route movies top rated movies upcoming movies popular so these are routes inside the movies folder and they are rendering page.tsx and this is the movie by id get movie by id so here movie by id and then you can also fetch the cast you can also fetch the the recommendations based on that movie id so movie mo movie id and recommendation movie movie id and the cast so this is how this path based next js directory is working so let's try to understand how this all these path are working so here uh, we have movies which contains the page.tsx which has the id right movies and then there is another route is movie movie by id recommendation and then recommendation and the cast so these are the three routes or four routes i see now let's try to detail this down and try to understand how this path based directory is pointing to which directory in the file system okay because this is really important how we are structuring the files so this is the movie then movies popular then movies upcoming top rated movies uh, upcoming 
these are like the folder structures which we have created right and now how this really works we have this will point to movies uh, id movies and this is id is a path parameter movie id and page.tsx because by default it will look for page.tsx then this will look for so here we'll copy paste this thing and we are going to just show how the movies route will work so inside all these things are inside app directory app directory is the root inside app we have page.tsx app uh, so this is that is actually landing page the forward slash movies where we are just showing all the movies that is landing page so here this is the recommendation this is the cast so here we can see uh, this is the cast so the folder structure is like inside app we have a movie then id cast page.tsx then movie is popular here movie it's a movies not movie and then this, this is a popular page.tsx similarly we have a top rated we have incoming upcoming sorry here we have top rated and then we have upcoming movies okay so what we are showing we are putting page.tsx a server component inside these folders so these routes can start rendering the component okay so this is how the path base uh, the routing directory works and this is the url which we are going to hit this is like the movie db uh, open source apis if you have an api key you can access this url can fetch the movies data so that is nothing but a rest api so it will give you the json object now json object is there you just fetch all the list of movies and pass it to your respective components this is how every rest api works right this is like open source api movie db api which gives you all the details about any random movie based on the movie id you can fetch the movies based on the category okay i want top rated upcoming um, popular all these set of movies are available you just need to pass this api key here okay so same we are going to do so what we will do this is the api key we have to access the uh, platform access this rest api and here we are going to make a simple fetch call so that fetch call is all about fetching the data in the server component so these are server components and now data fetching is way more simplified in the next js 13.x you can just write a simple function async function and we can await that function inside our component async function get all movies fetch movies and pass the uh, the title or the type let's say i want to fetch the movies uh, popular top rated upcoming and here we can just make a simple fetch call exios fetch and uh, that fetch will be await fetch and pass the url and pass the api key from process.env so this is how it really works we are passing this environment variable and then here we can do return response.json so that will give us the data object and we can just use we can just call this get movies inside our component that is the beauty of server components how i get it the data const popular movies equal to await get movies and pass your type type maybe are uh, like popular uh, all these things so now this function should needs to be a sync a sync server side component because you are doing await and you can also have a loading state some here and we are fetching three different categories top rated popular upcoming because you have seen the landing page it contains the three different uh, horizontal grid with the four movies each popular upcoming and top rated this is our simple landing page which is uh, in the page.tsx it's like a root page currently we are not going inside the movies forward slash upcoming it's landing page where we are just showing uh, four movies each from each section so it's all about okay building this grid layout what we need to do we are going to use the grid and uh, we are going to just put the uh, max so it's a flex container flex column and inside a div we are going to just put a maximum width how much max width we are uh, putting it so it's like 1300 pixel the container uh, contains a 1200 pixel so we want a little wider this is the how we can assign a fixed width you can do max width and then you can also have a fixed width like okay 1300 pixel is the area which you should cover margin auto so it will give us space from the left and right and uh, uh, padding horizontal is 4 so we are getting all these 
four different category of movies. So what we will do? We will render these four three components: upcoming movies, top rated movies, and the popular movies. And so these movies will be rendered. So we are what we are doing? We are just passing the data. Upcoming movies. Then we have a another component. So these are the three components we are going to render here. These all are a uh, server components because uh, what we what these components are doing. You can decide like how you want these components to behave. But these can be a client only component also because these components further not going to fetch the data from the server. They are just rendering this data so they can be client only. But here we are not any doing any state management and all. Let's keep it that way. So upcoming movies, popular movies, and top rated movies. So these are the props we are passing to these three components. Now these three components will render. I mean, this is like a movies array. What you need to do now once you receive the movie, you need to just create a simple Pioneer header and just a grid, horizontal grid, flex container with all the the movies inside it. So let's create all these three components first inside a component. And here we can do alias. Right at the rate uh, component. So this is inside source. We need to create a components. So all the root level, you can whatever you are putting inside a source that can be used as alias components, config, utility, database, whatever you put, you can access that using at the rate component because this is all TS config magic. In the TS config, we have provided this uh, path uh, mapping. It's not happening uh, on the fly. All these things we have already defined in the TS config, or this when you create a create next step, everything is auto generated for you. And inside these components, we can create all these three components: popular movies, top rated movies, upcoming movies. These are the TSX files, so we will access the data which is coming in the props, and we will try to display a nice, um, simply header like top rated movies. Uh, see all button and the grid. So let's see that in the action, like how this really looks like. Uh, we are using this Tailwind classes. So basic knowledge of Tailwind is always required, and you can just read some documentation that is enough. Because when you use the flex grid and all, you understand the Tailwind utilities uh, while working on it, not by just uh, going through and learning all the classes. Okay, so let's create uh, all these components. So we are creating top rated movies, popular movies and upcoming movies. I mean the layout uh, of all these components would be somewhat similar because if you see the look and feel of all these components, it's similar. They need to show the top four movies. So we will get the, the top rated movies from the props and we will slice it from uh, like the first four elements and then we will just do a map and create so we also need to create another child component for that. So let, let's let's create that. Uh, here we have these four components. I mean three components. We'll just copy paste them. So we can start building them. So this is the popular movies. And we will just do export default upcoming movies. Right. So here this is the page.tsx components. And here we can now we can import all of these, right? Because we have created that inside the components. So we can import them. So this is the top rated movies and this is uh, need to change the import and this is popular movies. And the imports will also be changed here and then we need to see everything. Now here are the types. Types uh, is creating a problem because this is a type script. You need to specify the types in the prop. You need to accept the types. right? So this is what you are getting directly from the props. So this is the popular movies of type. Currently, we don't have a TypeScript types. You can create by looking at into the JSON object, how it really looks like. It contains the result object and inside that there is an array. So we can just set any for now. This is top rated movies uh, of type any. Similarly, uh, we have all these error resolved. Now I think we can start the application and try to see what it is rendering. So here we are, what we are doing is we have a get movies, get movies is going to give us the data we need, right? And uh, this is the loading, a simple loading and all these components are there. So when I hit forward slash movies, it is going to render the page.tsx. 
of the movies component right movies is actually page.tsx is at the root so it should be able to display all our three grids top movies and the popular movies and all uh, i will also uh, apply the fonts so we have removed the necessary stylings from the tailwind and here it is showing top rated movies so let's see what is happening okay we don't have any message so we will just put the message and we will start building these components currently it's not showing any message so we don't see anything on the ui but now let's do let's try to create the ui so top rated movies what do we need we need to just create a simple flex layout flex flex uh, column and then uh, we can just do a some, some margin bottom and then inside that we have a div div class name and we are going to specify flex justify between because we have one label and one button so one label and one button needs to be uh, on the leftmost and the rightmost okay and item center margin top four and this is another div where we are going to have a grid so this is going to be using the grid css grid 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 column four four column grid and the gap of gap between each and every grid is four now uh, on the on this line eight this is the div which will contain two children's one is the like the h1 element which will show a simple message okay these are the top rated movies and then inside this we are going to have one simple button that will take us to a different route like movies and top rated forward slash top rated so text to excel to excel font medium and um, font color you can set and here is the link uh, i mean this is a uh, next js link which will when you click on to this it will navigate you to the different next js page so it should be link movies top rated okay and then just add all the classes whatever we need to for this so it's like a uh, padding vertically two padding horizontally five and background uh, set some background color and all those different different properties this is like a simple button we have created and text white and here we will say see all when you click on to this button it should be able to take you to the movies top rated and here we are rendering the grid so this should be first of all href link href will take you to that and when i reload it yes i uh, okay this should be for text white which okay that there is a typo text white so this is a top rated movies coming from one component now we need to display the four elements of the top rated movies right now i can just copy paste this and uh, use it everywhere because this this is what we want to do and when you copy paste that means now this will start showing everywhere upcoming movies top rated movies and popular movies so this is a uh, popular movies and uh, let's see what is wrong here href i think we need to reload this okay the link is missing so we need to import the link in all the three components link is actually used for uh, next js navigation through the uh, through the html buttons and all you can see through all the three uh, headers are there now we need to expose we need to fetch the data for the grid elements so here we are getting popular movies popular movies object will have a results that will that contains an array and if uh, the result is there then we will just do a map on that and we will read each and every movie element and then here we are going to render so we got the one single movie now that single movie how we are going to fetch it so it's better that we should create another child component movie card or uh, any kind of a tile or card component we need to create where we can pass the movie detail and then that movie card component should be able to render the movie details with the, the background with the name with the ratings the basic information should be able to expose on the, the movie card component so we are going to create a movie card component in the components and i'm going to copy and paste this on all okay because it's like same the only thing is in some component we are getting a uh, top rated in some component we are getting popular movies as a props 
and this is a simple movie card component we are creating that is getting movies object and then that movies object should be able to we just need to display okay uh just uh, next year's yes, movie image movie banner movie title and all these different properties so here i movie card so what is the the movie object contains all these properties like id we need because we also want to have a navigation movie by id so we are getting id title poster poster path that is actually uh, a type string that means if you want to show the banner then we can use this poster path and boot average and we are getting a movie object which is of type i movie so movie object is of type uh, i movie card this is actually just a interface we have created so this component will know okay what all properties are there in the props movie props and here we can just simply create a link because the whole title all the tiles should be able to clickable so when you click on to the tile you should be able to navigate to the movie by id so the path will be movie forward slash id that is a getting the detail of a particular movie with its cast with its recommendations everything movie detail ratings and all that is a movie detail component which we are creating inside a link href movie movie id and then inside this we can have okay what contains this card card contains some title background image uh, some description all these basic properties we have seen like how the title layout looks like so it's going to be like okay height is 400 pixel width is full because we can have only four grids like this because we already have a css grid inside css grid we will be rendering this movie card so it's fine that we can have a individual tile of a width full and height is 400 pixel and inside that you can set the images and all so let's format our code i'm just trying with the, this pretty here somehow this code formatting is somehow not working or there is some prettier errors i need to fix this because i'm trying to format my code in the whole video and i'm not able to make it so some something is not right with the prettier prettier rc is there i will try to see if prettier rc is there that is actually a configuration which prettier uses to lint and format your code okay so we are using next yes image here because we have a poster path which uh, we need to use to show the path on the to show the background image on the tight tile so we have this uh, nice and clean clean a movie card which will have this poster path and uh, this is a poster path there is a typo and i think vote average yes this is an image if poster path is there then just show it otherwise we will just use some empty image so this is uh, always nice to have a fallback image let's say if uh, you are not getting a particular variable in the properties then you will have a fallback that is a default image which will be shown if you don't have that particular property in your code okay so this is a particular image and after that we will just show all the other information on this movie card component so here we have a movie card component which will be just okay if poster path is there and use the poster path otherwise leave it empty that's not good uh, i just changed that so what i'm saying is if uh, poster path is there then use the poster path otherwise we can have some kind of uh, default image which we will be using here so this is a simple movie card component maybe i will be just doing some cleanup uh, later so here we can have a simple config so whatever you are putting inside a source folder that you can just import with alias like at the rate uh, forward slash component config config is nothing but a simple constants but i'm which i'm going to put for having the default uh, image url and image url is actually, actually like what is the default host from where we are fetching the image and what is the default image which will be shown if there is no uh, image we are specifying so this saving index.ts this is a typescript mess which i still keep getting this pop up uh, sometimes I need to close the VS code to fix this. So this is our movie card component. And uh, what I will do is I need to fix this image because uh, this particular path we need to use in this uh, image component. You can say image URL, movie.poster path, otherwise empty movie URL. 
empty movie URL because uh, if no image is there, we will use this variable which is coming from the config. Okay, and now this is a simple movie card component. We will just uh, export this movie card and we will import this movie card component everywhere. Like this is in all the components popular movie, top movies, and top rated movies and upcoming movies, right? And then we will try to just see how this looks like. We can just uh, go to this particular folder. I have to restart my VS code. So now uh, we can just go to that component and I see one error is there. Like next image host name is uh, not defined in the next config. So it depends like from, from which particular host you are loading the images. And if you are not specifying that in the next config, okay, I think you will get an error. Same error uh, I can see here. And you will get confused what is the error. So here it is explicitly saying that um, uh, images.tmdb.org is not specified in the next config. So how to add this in the next config object? You can just add another uh, parameter image and domains like these are the uh, allowed domains from which you can fetch the images. Now this works. I don't see error coming now and we can just reload the page and try to see if it's working because still we need to troubleshoot things. Okay, somehow this is working. I can uh, fetch all the movies, but what happened? I can see all the movies together. That's not what we want. We want only four movies. So we will check our logic if that logic is really working. So we are getting top rated movies dot slice uh, first four index dot map. This is uh, what we are doing. It's I think it's fetching all the images together right now, which is not nice. And here we can see. Okay, this is the, the uh, issue. G it should be 0, 0,4 first index, comma last index. There was some typo. And now it should fix, uh, I think, this particular one. Now I should be able to fetch only four images. And I can see that. See all. Button is coming thrice for the three different sections. Upcoming movies, popular movies, and top rated movies. And we are showing only top four movies for this. So this is how our components are rendering now what we will do is we are going to create a simple header component because we want to have nice and clean simple header component that should be be able to render on the top because it's nice to have a simple header component which will be just showing a simple new bar and a new and just putting a background color having a some fixed height so that is all about the, the classes which we are going to write so this is a uh, Padding vertical, padding, uh, padding horizontal, background is gray and gray 800. And this is our header component. We will just export default this and we can use this header component anywhere we want in the application. And this is the link href. When you click onto the header, it should take you to the home page. So this is simple header component. Now let's see how to import the header component in our either layout because layout there we can decide okay in the layout I want to show the header sidebar left sidebar right sidebar new bar or the footer component all these things can be decided here and here I'm rendering header component and I'm doing one mistake here which we will try to resolve this is the common mistake which most of the people will do if you are not able to clear out your concept so header component I'm adding outside body let's see if uh, next yes will allow this to happen so I have imported header component and header component is specified. Header cannot appear as a child of HTML. That's good. So what we are going to do is we are going to put header component inside the body. Okay. So body we already have with the class name. What I will do is this uh, header component we are going to render just before the children's. And you can create a empty wrapper around it. So this is the header component and the children component. Okay, and uh, we can just see the outcome now. We should be able to fetch the results. Oh, I think there is no errors. And I can see all these three grids. Uh, I, I, I mean, you can try to give us uh, some vertical margin. I mean, margin for the upcoming movies because this is header and header should be 
little bit uh, has should have a padding bottom or a margin bottom from this particular grid so this is how the whole layout looks like here we can see we have the flex container and inside the width 1300 we have these three different containers okay now this popular top rated and upcoming these are also the routes already created which we need to define right so inside movies there is a popular upcoming and top rated currently we have done only the landing page and landing page was importing these three different components not page based routes okay now we are going to create popular page so how you will read it when you will hit forward slash uh, movies forward slash popular will render this page forward slash movies forward slash upcoming will render the page dot tsx from the upcoming and this is going to be the same async component async call because here you will fetch the the movies you will fetch the popular movies top rated movies and upcoming movies in these three different different routes and then we will just put the the same jsx for this and fetch movies that means it is going to fetch the popular movies upcoming movies and top rated movies the whole list because when this page will come when you click on see all on the home page see all all the top rated movies see all uh, popular movies see all upcoming movies then these pages will be used and i can just make a sync call get popular movies and i will just pass the the page so what why i'm doing is because we also want a paginated results so you will see how we can achieve the simple pagination using this component because this pagination is totally server side when you hit page 1 you, we are going to get the results of page 1 when you hit forward slash page 2 the request will go to the server and it will fetch the the page the whole html page with the data from the server so here uh, page is actually the params we are going to use and here get popular movies it's all about the same url but only the path will change and we are going to pass the same api key for accessing these apis and you can see the path is movie popular so you got the popular movies now you will just start playing with the popular movies and show those popular movies in the grid so what i'm saying is here we will also have a search parameters so you can you understand the query parameter search parameter path parameter because i wanted to access the multiple pages like page by page id page 1 page 2 page 3 for fetching the list of movies so what you are passing you are passing the search parameter and i can access the search parameter if no search parameter is being passed that means fetch me the first page of popular movies first page of uh, upcoming movies but when you pass the page 2 in the route that means fetch me the page 2 okay and then uh, it's all just a simple layout we are going to render all these uh, popular movies uh, all these inside a grid but before that we need to make this async call which will give us the popular movies top rated movies and upcoming movies respectively and then you just do a dot map on that and show all these movies inside a grid grid column of a grid with the column 4 okay and here also we are using the same movie card component either popular movies we got all the movies and the default page is page 1 okay get the popular movies for the page 1 if page path page search param is not being passed and we are still rendering this movie card component and i'm hitting movies forward slash movies is there that's good and now i will just hit uh, inside movies these are the four folders three folders movies top rated that's another route which should be able to render the top rated components top rated grid and it is uh, throwing some error let's try to see it is talking about error boundary so we have okay page i think that was the problem because the component was imported but was not exported properly it should be uppercase page camel case that is what ex we are exporting so earlier it, we are we were not importing anything it was all empty now we will try to see this in the demo i will try to reload the page this is a top rated page and movie card is not defined again another error so obviously we didn't didn't import this movie card component somehow this typescript is not complaining big but the typescript should complain wherever you see the 
you are accessing some properties wherever you are not importing a particular component then movie card should show the error so movie card is coming from the components and movie card and this movie card we can import everywhere so importing this movie card will be sorted now and we should be able to see the whole output now we can also just uh, do some renaming okay this is not this is upcoming so just use upcoming uh, name everywhere upcoming movies upcoming movies get upcoming movies this is top rated so fetch top rated movies and fetch top rated movies and also we need to change this path parameter right path so movie top rated movie popular movie uh, upcoming this is the api url will also change and here we are passing the page number also dynamically so if you want to access the multiple pages and yes i got the results now it is showing me all the the movies only thing is about my layout i think it's covering the whole width of the body so i will try to fix the layout by using the outer wrapper because i just copied the the earlier layout but this page is different this page is is show me all the the popular uh, top rated all these movies together like all these movies we don't need anything else so these are the popular movies i need to just change this flex container and we can just fix the the maximum width okay i'm putting a maximum width of 300 pixel that is the fix we will do and max width full so in 300 pixels you can occupy and you can give me the four column grid where i can show all the movies for in one row there will be four columns four grid then another row for uh, another grid something like this and i think i need to clear out the cache something is wrong happening so i will start the server and this is working nice now here it is we can create a see all component and it will give you top rated upcoming and popular movies i think we put the same path top rated everywhere so it is taking you as to the top rated every time so this is all about html just change the the route parameter route path here inside upcoming movies so there is a grid we are showing so this is the top so this is upcoming similarly this is the top rated and then there is a popular so just we'll just use the same names which we have used and now i can navigate to the different routes this is upcoming top rated and then you can click on to another button this one which will show you top rated okay so this is how it is working now we can also fetch the other things so we are able to fetch the the movie uh, list and when you click on to the see all we are able to see all the the movies in that particular category now it's time to get the movie detail so we are doing movie by id right so id is actually path parameter we are passing and we should be able to fetch the that particular movie based on the id so we are passing this id as a path parameter so this is the id i param movie detail and there is inside params there is an id uh, we are passing okay and then we just use a sync function get movie detail that because we are trying to fetch that particular movie and we already have the id which is coming from the params so inside a next js when you are doing this uh, folder based routing and you wanted to pass some dynamic then this is how you can access that dynamic variable using uh, params so using params.id that will give me the id which i'm looking for uh, in a particular movie and here we can just do a fetch to that particular url that should be able to give me uh the movie detail of a particular movie okay so you will get a json object okay here i will just create a page component which is accessing which is accepting the params and params.id will be the path param which you are passing in by selecting a particular movie and accessing the details so you should be able to access the cast and recommendation of that particular movie so here we are accessing the id from the params and we are going to make a api call a const movie awake await 
await uh, get movie details and pass the the id that's it so it will give me all the movie information similarly you can also do the give me the cast give me the recommendations and all and you will be writing all the same api call get movie detail get cast detail by movie id get recommendation by movie id but still you need a movie id without that you, you how can you get the recommendations how can you get the movie detail so first we got the movie detail we are passing the ids movie cast and movie uh, recommendation this is what we need to fetch so we'll just copy paste it three times and just call the appropriate uh, function so this is all about uh, how we get the movie detail movie cast and movie recommendation because when you click on to the movie tile you should be able to fetch the movie details by calling these apis these are the synchronous apis like async await we are using get recommendation get cast get movie details there are three api calls we are making to fetch the data then we are rendering the page right this is a server component we are making all these three api calls and this is like we are just putting some uh, text like this is how we are going to show the movie details like movie title in the left and then movie description ratings and movie cast in the bottom movie recommendation in the bottom so this is a simple uh, layout which we are putting for the the movie detail movie detail means the the whole information about the movie will be published here and how we are fetching it we are using these movies api and we already have a movie id so we know how to fetch the data we can get the cast recommendation movie details and all these things are happening in this server component and this id we are accessing through the path params and this is how you can get the path params in the uh, server components like params.id in the components and that will give you uh, the params okay so this is all about the whole end to end setup now what we can do is we can just uh, you can extend it further whatever you wanted to build you can add authentication using next auth you can use even the prisma orm and write your own apis to create a movie create a cast create a recommendations and then try to show that information so create uh, keep this create operation separate and this create keep this uh, view operation separate because i want a list of movies list of recommendation list of cast and all which i need a separate api and in the api you can create a prisma apis to fetch the movies based on some kind of a filter okay i want to get a uh, top recommended i want to get the top uh, cast so all these things you can extend in this whole example and uh, maybe make it more appropriate and extend this example based on whatever you want what is these errors uh, await is not allowed so we need to make the sync component so now await is allowed you should be able to fetch the data sometimes you need to reload and uh, fetch the data and now it is coming up right so this is how this whole application looks like these are the different pages we have built so what are the learnings from this whole app this whole app is talking more about how to set up the directories how to define the layouts if you are using some custom layout how this pathways directory really works you can have a layout loading error.tsx and how to access the path params from the path like movie movie detail and how you can create these nested directories nested routes which is again fetching the data from the external apis and how to fetch the data inside a server components we haven't used any client only components because there was no such need of managing the state we were not performing lots of uh, user interactions it's all about fetching the data and visualizing the data to the end user which we are showing on the screen so thanks everyone this is all i have in this video i will be posting more such videos where we can end to end build the application and can get uh, more and more learnings with us okay uh, thanks everyone if you like then hit like subscribe i will be posting i have lots of content you can just check out my channel and get more from my experience